Hello and welcome back to the cosplay creation series. It has been probably about a week since I've actually worked on my cosplay. We've been waiting on some deliveries. As you would have seen in the last part, I finished the painting of the top, which is very exciting. It all feels like it's starting to come together, like for real now. So as I was anticipating the top to be the hardest part of this cosplay, now that it's so close to being finished, it really starts to feel like it's coming together and it's getting super exciting. So we've had a couple of deliveries in the past week and a couple of things that we are waiting to arrive still. So in my hands now, I believe I have a craft foam. Reese has gone away for the weekend to see family Family and he messaged and was like, hey, when you are on the way back from the gym, can you pop by the concierge and just check if we have a parcel? I was like, yeah, okay, cool. I was waiting for the guy to bring the parcel out and then he brings out this, which is like literally, <laughs> it's literally half, of, over half of me. <gasps> yes, it is, it's the craft foam. So I'm not gonna take off this end piece because then it will, unfold and I'll probably have trouble getting it back in place again but here is our craft foam we went for black as Reese needs it for his omen cosplay as he's building his sort of like body plate out of it so he's gonna need quite a bit I'm just gonna be using it for the shoulder pads so I won't need too much but we do have a decent amount so I don't think we're gonna be running out of craft foam anytime soon on the way also I have finally ordered my jet wig I had always wanted to use wigs for cosplays because I feel like they really add that final touch and really finish it off nicely. I got it from a company called Coscraft, who I now go to for all my wigs. They have a fairly decent selection of wig styles, but their color choices are insane. So I went for the, I believe it's Smoky White wig. I was debating Titanium Blonde, just flat out white. Um, and then the smoky white. We also have some fabric has arrived in the last week. So I can start working on my trousers for Jet. And we also have some adhesive glue on the way. So I am gonna wait for the glue to arrive until I start working on the shoulder pads. The craft glue should hopefully be here tomorrow so I can start working on it then. So instead of starting on the shoulder pads, I actually started working on her two knives, which has sat on the right side of her belt. I wasn't really too fussed with them being too accurate as they are just a small part of the costume. I don't know if these are too big. When looking at the ones which are on her belt, I feel like they're an okay size. I feel like the blade might be a bit thick, but it is quite chunky. I'm going to make the circle a bit smaller. But as you just saw, I did in fact make them a little bit too big. Um, so I basically ended up going over again from scratch. I came at these with a similar approach as I did to my sky knife. So once I had sketched out a shape and size that I was happy with, I then moved on to cutting them out with a craft knife. And this was actually really fiddly because it has a lot of clean edges and there's a lot of parts where it goes in and out um, in quite a lot of detail. I was getting really frustrated with this and it took me ages to get it to a point where I was happy with it. And then I moved on to the even more fun part of cutting out the circular shape in the middle. I then made a couple of last adjustments to the part of the blade and then moved on to stenciling out the next one and just repeated the entire process all over again. So once I was happy with both the knives, I moved on to gluing them together. I just did this by applying some Mod Podge in between and then placing them on top of each other. You'll also see me fix one part of the blade as I had been a little bit too um, brutal with the craft knife when I was cutting. And I also just used a really weak bit of cardboard that already had a crease in. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, I then sealed in the rest of the edges and moved on to making the second one. So 
So now I had both of my knives put together, I did some final touch-ups with some Mod Podge, make sure they were all sealed in and stuck together with enough adhesive, and then moved on to paper mache. Reese, if you're watching this, yes, I did this on the weekend that you weren't here. Your Omen cosplay is fine. He's chilling on the bed, having a rest. Don't stress. So we've come to a pivotal point of the cosplay in that we are almost finished with the top, which is a pretty big thing. Um, this is not fit. How dare you? Okay, never mind, that goes that idea. We've gone to the point where we are putting the shoulder pads on. We have our craft foam here, ready to go. I'm just gonna prime it and then paint it once it's in place. I was gonna put it on the mannequin so that I could get a, like the curve shape of my shoulder to fit to the pad, but obviously now, as you just saw, that's not gonna happen. I guess I'm just gonna have to do what I always do and wing it. But first, it's dinner time. So then I moved on to the craft foam and I had a very steep learning curve with this stuff. So instead of like making templates out of cardboard for the shapes I wanted, I just went full in, full energy, let's go and started cutting random shapes out of the craft foam. I tried to like visualize the shape by placing different shaped pieces on top of the top and my little brain just could not visualize what the piece should look like until I made this shape and then I realized I had the right idea but it was way too small. So now I had the basic shape that I needed figured out, I went back to hacking away at the craft foam, cut out a piece that was way too big for what I needed just in case and then began tracing it but the wrong way round. I then realized that this was the wrong way round and that the whole time I had been visualizing the piece that I needed upside down. So we cut it out anyway, flipped it over and we seemed to have a little bit of success. I trimmed it down a bit to have the right sort of size and then cut out a second piece back to absolutely massacring the craft foam again and then started working out how it was going to fit and sit on the top. After a little bit of trimming and shaping, I finally got it to a point where I was happy with how it looked. Note to self, next time you work with Craft Foam Tilly, please make templates first. I then brought the glue out and began sticking down the left shoulder pad just to sort of test how quickly the glue was going to dry. Spoiler alert, it's not very quick. I think I sat there with my hand pushed down on this for like 40 minutes until I realised it was going to be an overnight drying job. Using some really professional top tier tools here, uh, we're using a football shaped money box to really push the glue down and connect it to the top and then using a Percy Jackson book, a Lord of the Rings book and an Andy Weir book um, to weigh it down and get it all in place. So the front patches are dry. I'm pretty sure they're fairly secure actually. Um, I was a bit worried that I would wake up in the morning and they just wouldn't have stuck but actually it looks fairly decent. Um, there is one patch that hasn't dried see-through, I'm just assuming that I put it on too thick but I'll just have to paint over that or try and peel it off I suppose. So now this morning I'm going to glue the back and get that all weighted down. So I decided that the trimming I did yesterday wasn't enough and that I had to trim it down yet again as I had actually tried on this top in the morning and gotten stuck in it. Um, so the size of the shoulder pads was way too big and they had to be cut down a bit. I was planning on doing this anyway as the edges weren't quite the right shape um, to what jets are. Um, but once I did this I was very happy with it and then began gluing on the back. Thank you. 
So I left these to dry for two days I think as I just wanted to make sure they were all properly stuck, didn't want them popping off when I was uh, trying it on. And I then moved on to painting it so I first primed it with a bit of Mod Podge as I googled it and that seemed to be an acceptable primer. I did three coats of grey acrylic paint on the back and front and then there's just me finishing off the edges. I was also watching Inside Out while I did this as I was sat there for about two hours um, and I then began painting the knives which were finally dry from the paper mache. Later on that day I stuck on the two little like clips that Jet has on the front and back of her top. I used some leftover clips that Reese had from a sleeping bag or a jacket or something, I don't know. Let's be resourceful, we're poor, making cosplay is expensive so I used what I had. Um, so I just hot glued these on, made sure they were fully secure because we do not want them popping off at con, that would not be ideal. I also put a little bit of hot glue underneath that like blue flap that I have there just because the little stitches that I'd put in when I initially made that part had popped off at some point in the creation process. So I've been very bad at um, filming my progress and I've pretty much finished the top. I'm very, very close. Um, looks a little bit different from the last time you would have seen it. I've painted the shoulder pads fully, done some weathering and some damagey bits. I did record it when I hot glued on these two bits here. I have these two, which I'm gonna glue on this evening, and then the two white buttons, which I did paint, um, but it didn't give me the, the full effect that I wanted, so I'm gonna paint over them white. And then that's the back. Everything's sealed in. So the last thing to do is just get these all done, and then the top is pretty much finished. And the button fell off. Cute. That's a hot glue job. I will apologize here because for some reason I just could not get my phone to focus on anything. I hoped that it would focus itself once I started, but it did not. So I just glued on the two back clips um, with the same process that I did for the front ones. So since I had everything out already, I decided to carry on and added on the grips to the handles of Jet's knives. I'm not exactly sure what they are made out of, I think it might be leather, but I had this leftover material from my Sky cosplay and it looked a lot like it, so I decided to use that instead. Also just thought I should explain that um, I have the lighter out and I'm currently burning the material to stop it from falling apart as it's like woven threads of plastic, the same as you would find on the straps of your backpack. So once you cut it, it does fall apart very easily. Melting it a bit does help it stay together. It doesn't completely seal it off though, so I do seal it all in properly with a coat of Mod Podge at the end. The last thing I did was something I had needed to do for a while and was just putting it off as there was more exciting things I wanted to do. Uh, I had to seal in the painted part of the shoes as I can just envision walking around London and them getting absolutely destroyed by everything that is on the floor in a city. So that is the end of the creation process part three. Um, here are some cheeky little pics of everything up to date. The wig needs a lot of work. Do not judge, it has no shaping, no hairspray on it, um, so I'm hoping to get round to that in the next week. But anyway, thanks for watching this part, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future parts. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are, and hopefully I'll see you again next time.